Well, Michelle Obama took the stage last night at the Democratic National Convention to bring a personal touch to Barack Obama's campaign for president. And I come here as a wife who loves my husband and believes he will be an extraordinary president. After she spoke, it was a very cute family moment on stage. The Obama's daughters came up. Senator Obama spoke to them all via satellite from Kansas City. Now, Mark Curtis was right there on the floor last night when Michelle Obama and Ted Kennedy spoke. Mark, I know you're loving this because history is being made. You've been covering yep. politics for a long time. If the Obama's goal is to show that they are a typical American family, it sure seems like they pulled it off last night. Yeah, I think she really had to portray herself as a wife, a mom, a daughter, and a sister, and she hit all of the above. And, of course, that moment at the end with the kids, I mean, you never know what little kids are going to do on a stage, you know, with uh, 20,000 people present. And they were charming and cute and adorable. And, yeah, they looked like the typical American family. And I think that was the message they were trying to portray last night. Yeah, I think everybody smiled with the high daddy when that little comment came through. Hillary uh, supporters. Yeah, wasn't that cute? yeah, very. Uh, as you've been saying, you know, Hillary supporters are still very angry, though. She didn't get the vice presidency. Did the strength and confidence of Michelle, of Michelle Obama, a woman up there, did that help win those people over? It may have helped around the edges, but the person that really has to hit the grand slam, really has to hit the ball out of the park, is Hillary Clinton, and that's tonight. Uh, she has to give a very persuasive and convincing speech. There's still a little bit of sniping between the two campaigns. I talked to San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom last night after the speeches, and uh, he, 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 of course, was a Hillary Clinton supporter, but he's going to firmly back Obama. And he said, look, this is not going to be over in just one night. There's a healing process, a unification process in the party that has to take time and it gets underway tonight with Hillary Clinton's speech but he said Democrats need to look at the big picture and realize what's at stake in November they have to unify or they simply aren't going to win right it seems like a lot of people you know they could be so angry that they're just not going to vote at all what what do you think Hillary has to say tonight to win them over to Barack Obama's campaign I think she has to be unequivocal in her support for Senator Obama. She has to say, look, we fought the good fight. We put 18 million cracks in the glass ceiling for women with 18 million votes for my campaign. But then she has to say, we need to look forward. Maybe my time is another time. She has to say, I unequivocally endorse Senator Obama, and I want all my delegates and all my supporters around the country to vote for him in November. She really has to not mince words. She has to be very very clear, and I keep using the word unequivocal, but there can't be any ifs, ands, or buts about her endorsement. It has to be very strong and very firm, and Bill Clinton has to do the same tomorrow night as well. What about the emotional uh, presentation by Senator Ted Kennedy? What's the Kennedy effect? How did that play in last night? Well, that was really something. Um, I, I can't remember a time where I saw so many tears shed at a political speech. It was interesting. I was outside for half the speech, outside of the building, and you could hear it. I mean, it was shaking. You could hear the applause outside. And then I came back in the building, and, uh, you know, it was really a heartfelt moment. A lot of people knew Teddy Kennedy was going to be here. The big question was, was he going to get up on the rostrum and address the crowd and address the nation on television? And he did. He spoke eloquently. He spoke passionately. Uh, his voice cracked a few times. You could tell he was very emotional. He thanked uh, the American people for their support during the triumphs and tragedies of the Kennedy family, and there have been many. And, of course, his brain cancer is just the latest chapter in the Kennedy story. But it was really a moment, and uh, people were very sentimental about it. Whether that will translate uh, for enough votes for Barack Obama, who knows? Uh, it may have been just a one-night uh, emotional uh, moment, and uh, people will go forth. Uh, certainly the people he has to appeal to who are the independents, just like Senator Obama. Right. All right. Mark Curtis is there in Denver for us. Thank you. Again, the big night tonight is Hillary Clinton, and she's going to have to sell it. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Pam. Let's go back to Tori and Dave.